In this video, we're going to talk about corresponding angles and same side interior angles. So let's say we have two parallel lines. I'm going to call this line L and line M. And we have a transversal line that cuts through line L and line M. Let's call this T. So we have the angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So which of these angles are corresponding angles? Angle 1 corresponds to angle 5. Angle 2 corresponds to angle 6. 3 and 7 are corresponding angles, and 4 and 8 are corresponding angles. For each pair, one is on the outside, the exterior of the two parallel lines, and the other is on the inside or the interior of the two parallel lines. Now what you need to know is that corresponding angles are congruent. They have the same angle measure. So we could say that angle 1 is equal to angle 5. The next type of angle we're going to talk about is same side interior angle, also known as consecutive interior angles. So 4 and 6, these are consecutive interior angles. The reason why we call them interior is because they're inside or in between the two parallel lines. Angles 1, 2, 7, and 8 are known as exterior angles. They're outside of the two parallel lines. But angles 3, 4, 5, and 6, those are called interior angles because they're on the inside of the two parallel lines. Now, 4 and 6 they're same side interior. They're on the inside of the two parallel lines and they're on the same side of the transversal. Now, what you need to know about same side interior angles is that they are supplementary. So angle four and angle six adds up to 180 degrees. So they don't equal each other, but they add up to 180. The same is true for angles 3 and 5. They're same side interior angles, so they're supplementary. They're going to add up to 180. So now let's work on some practice problems. So let's say we have the same parallel lines, L and M. We could say that L is parallel to M if we write it this way. And let's say we have our transversal T. Now let's say that this angle is 70 degrees and this is X. Go ahead and calculate the value of X. Now first we need to discuss the relationship between these two angles. What's the relationship of those two angles? Those angles are same side interior angles or consecutive interior angles. And we know that they're supplementary. So we could say that 70 degrees plus X, that's going to add up to 180. So now we can calculate the value of X by subtracting both sides by 70. So 180 minus 70 is 110. So that's the value of X. All right, so let's adjust the problem a bit. So let's say this is 4X plus 12. You know what, let me adjust my pen size first. Now 
I'm going to put degrees since this is an angle measure. And let's say this angle is 70 degrees. What is the value of x in this problem? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. Now, first we need to know what the relationship between these two angles is. Are we dealing with alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, corresponding angles, same side interior angles, vertical angles? What kind of angles are we dealing with here? Now we know that these two are corresponding angles. This one is an, it's an exterior angle and this one is an interior angle. Now corresponding angles are congruent so we could say that 70 degrees or we'll just use 70 for now that's equal to 4x plus 12. So now we can calculate the value of x. So let's begin by subtracting both sides by 12 and we'll bring down the 4x. 70 minus 12 is 58. So now we got to divide both sides by 4. So the answer is going to be 58 over 4, which we can reduce that to 29 over 2 if we divide each number by 2. So half of 29, we can write it this way. 29 is 28 plus 1, so 20 over 2 is 14. So this is 14 and a half, or 14.5. So that's the value of x in this problem.